Welcome back everybody to your weekly dose of efficiency tips from Yoka. My name is Yoji and I want to talk with you about data visualization, creating charts and just simply not boring your coworkers or employees by long tables and Excel sheets so they fall asleep. Like all the AI tools out there that has been made a lot simpler, a lot faster and I want to show you a few tips and tricks that I found out last week and let's dive deep in. I want to talk with you about a tool called ChartPixel. All right, so as you can see, ChartPixel is obviously a tool where you can visualize data. Currently, you can do it from Excel sheets or CSV files. There's also one called Keyword Data Search, where it can access public databases to search for any key terms that you would like to maybe target or for your SEO, for your website or anything like that. So if you check, for example, something crazy like uh, Nutella ice cream, if the product that you're trying to develop is maybe uh, gaining up in search results or in popularity or people are actually looking for that, then you can use something like that to, to do your keyword research. And obviously with Child Pixel, you can then also convert it into a graph or into a chart. So you have the, also the visualization part of that done right here in one tool. But I'm not sure if that's... I, in terms of keyword search, the strongest tool, I believe there are others that specialize on it, but it's just one of the, the side features of it. All right, so we got some results in terms of data analysis, and uh, we have a little summary here that says search interest in Nutella ice cream has a significant positive trend. Average search interest is 0 0.26 per week. Uh, interest value, distribution of search values, Nutella ice cream is nearly normally distributed, etc., etc. So we, no one of us probably cares about Nutella ice cream, so I'll not dig into it, but you understand what you can do with this tool, or at least with this part of the tool, you can choose different kinds of graphs and see what you found uh, based on this keyword that you put in. So that's not what most of us are going to use this for. So this was just a quick side note. And let's go back to the main page where you can say, okay, let's upload some data. And to make some dummy data, I just want to also introduce to you the new features of Google Sheets. I don't know if you know about it already, but you can now create sheets just by typing words. So basically word to sheet, if you, if you might say. Okay, and the new feature of Google Sheets is called Help Me Organize. And if you if you want to look for it, you go here on this top toolbar and right next to the search option, you can find here a little blue gradient icon that says Help Me Organize. Okay, so if you click that, you will pop, you have a pop up here on the right that says create a custom template. For example, here is like a kitchen remodel task for a kitchen that is a friendly friendlier for kids to cook or something like that. So let's just stick to our ice term, uh, ice term, ice cream terminology and uh, say, okay, create a list of ice cream flavors and the columns can be sample data. Sample data, all right. So, and then you just click create and it will sync for a second and give us a small sheet of sample data. All right, let's click insert. And we have here chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and remaining stocks, 150, 25, etc. And this is how you can, uh, new ways to create and convert data from your existing documents into Google Sheets. And let's just download this data one time. Again, this has nothing to do with chart pixel. I, I was just making sure you guys are on the latest technology stand of what Google Sheets can do as well. So if you go back here, we upload our sheet. It will take rather 20, 30 seconds or so. I think we just have 10 data points, so it should be rather quick. Yes. And there you have it. Uh, you can now have a quickly visualized, uh, visualized chart here based on the flavors that you have. And you also get a data analysis summary of what is happening here, like cookies and cream as the highest remaining stocks, 
Coffee has the lowest remaining stock. Speculation, one possible reasons for cookies and cream having the highest remaining stocks could be its popularity among customers. The next step, obviously, is that you can download this all for free still. This is all for free. I just had to make an account for it. You simply click here, this button on the bottom, and download done. So now you can go and open open Keynote or PowerPoint, whatever you guys are using, create a new document and uh, then just start dragging your new chart into this. And uh, you can go and present your new chart to your team or to your shareholders. And you even have a little legend here. If you have a chart pixel uh, watermark, but I mean, come on, you can always just take a rectangle make it the same color as the background and then just put it over it. So that's an easy fix or just cut out the image if that suits you. So I think for a free tool, this does an amazing job. And if you are looking for a really efficient and fast way to visualize your data, I think ChartPixel is an amazing option. Let me know in the comments if anyone found this useful. So the last part I wanted to talk with you about goes a little bit off side of ChartPixel because we explored all the features that it has right now. And the last thing is I think that you can only have three projects at the same time. You have to go then into your projects here and delete them to start a new one. But I think after you downloaded your chart for the day, you don't really need this history for most people at least. And yeah, let's see where this is. Uh, where this software and this tool is going to take us. And uh, I'm looking forward to keep an eye on it as well. So let's check out one more time how you get the data in the first place. Because as I said, you can only do Excel or CSV files, right? So what if we say something like uh, top ice cream, ice cream flavors? And uh, we click on this blog article here that has a list of the most popular ice cream flavors all listed down here and you don't want to start copy pasting everything manually into an excel sheet and separating the columns and rows and whatever uh, we are not living in 2019 anymore so what you can do and you can do this with all other serious types of data is to say something like you just copy everything, you know, you just hold shift and then click at the end. Copy this entire thing, right? Go to something like Google Docs and just paste this in here. So, and now you have all of these things and uh, you can just copy this again. So now in ChatGPT, uh, by the way, for this method, you have to be a plus user. Uh, you go to advanced data analysis, make sure that this is selected and then say something like, I want to use the data from these pasted information. Please create them into a table format that I can download, create the rows and columns accordingly. Of course, I'm just trying to do this very vague, right? Otherwise you would give more instructions of what kind of rows and columns you want to have. But for now, I'll just let ChatGPT take it over and I just paste the entire blog article down here and let ChatGPT do the rest. So in uh, advanced data analysis tool within ChatGPT, you can see that it's now writing the code within to basically create that CSV file for me and decided that it's going to be rank, flavor and description, which is fine. And it's going to take maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds Obviously, then you are able to use uh, tools like ChartPixel and other tools that only accept CSV or Excel sheet formats, right? That you can then use your information to do whatever you want. In, in, in our instances, we're trying to visualize information. So yeah, that's, that's one thing, right? And now I have my download link for my CSV file. I just click it once, the download has started and I'm done. So I could go back now and we are not doing anything new anymore. So um, ice cream flavors ranked. We have here chocolate, vanilla, etc. And uh, the data is going up and all right. And there you can see that we get an, again an entire summary. We can choose between different chart styles and review your data, download the image again and continue a very productive meeting to determine with the team which ice cream flavors we should next develop. 
and uh, from and again I hope this helped a lot of people today let me know if you have any questions in the comments and stay tuned for the next efficiency video um, I really really appreciate your time and see you in the next one cheers and stay efficient